Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Polly channel. This video I want to share about preview for Ale Village, capital city of Mountain of Eternal Winter region. Okay, to enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle and also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. Fight. Okay, from new area on Mountain of Eternal Winter, there are one capital city. If I translate this capital city, the city is Ale Village. And large area for this Ale Village have nearly same size as Felia City, but bit larger from Felia. And in this city, there are complete NPC that you can use their service. And this Ale Village, there are three ways that you can access from the north, from the west, and from the south. And this Ale Village cross by one river, so you also can fishing on this Ale Village. Okay, in this video, I will show you start from the north gate. Okay, from the north, first NPC you will see on this area on map. If you interact with this NPC, actually this is normal NPC that have nothing to do to this NPC. Okay, next around this area on map, you will find some river that you can fishing around this area. And also you can find this NPC. Actually this NPC is herb vendor that sell any normal herb that you also can purchase it from any other NPC on any other city. And inside this building, you will find one NPC that you can interact to get priest buff and same as another priest you need 3 pieces 10g gold bar to get its buff and also you can cleanse your gear to reduce your gear enhancement from plus 15 to become plus 14 same as another priest npc okay let's go outside of this building and then i will show you blacksmith area after you cross this river you will find this blacksmith area first npc is arm dealer this npc just sell any green great steed weapon for any class and another npc this is just normal npc that have nothing to do and the last NPC on this blacksmith area, this is the real blacksmith that you can purchase any item that usually sell by any blacksmith NPC and also repair your gear and equipment and also do extraction for any gear and then at this area you will find one NPC that have nothing to do and then let's go to the center of this town at the center of this town you can find storage manager NPC same as another storage NPC you can purchase and sell any gold bar and also save your item on this town and also you can deliver any item to any other city either to Felia until Valencia city and beside this storage manager NPC you will find market vendor to manage your market okay from the center of this area let's go to another area on this location that have one NPC actually when you walking around this area you will find some housing that you can rent and I will show you later after this and inside this house you will find one NPC actually this NPC will related with your main quest on mountain of eternal winter main quest and inside this house you will find this dragon statue actually if you look carefully this dragon statue this dragon statue looks like garmot but little different and of course this dragon statue not an offer but if i translate this statue this is labreska statue and actually this mountain of eternal winter didn't have any world boss but on previous year on la scalpion or heidel ball i remember per abyss mention about snow dragon that become world boss from this mountain of eternal winter region and also this mountain of eternal winter region still have wider area that not discover until they release it on korea server so maybe there are still have more expansion area for this mountain of eternal winter in future okay let's go outside from this house okay next we go to this area actually on this main road on this village you will find fugar npc this is normal fugar npc that same as another fugar npc on another town and also you can find patrigio npc on this location patrigio didn't hide on this village that located on this area on map okay inside this house Actually, all NPC on this house, this is main quest NPC that you will interact when you're doing main quest on Mountain of Eternal Winter. Okay, let's go to West Gate from this town. Okay, at this area, you can find Stable Keeper NPC. This is normal Stable Keeper, like another Stable Keeper on another town. And near this West Gate, you will find this furniture dealer that you can purchase any specialty furniture from this Mountain of Eternal Winter area. And for more detail how it's look for this furniture, you can check my previous video about not connection guide on mountain of eternal winter video because in this video i show you new furniture preview from any furniture that you can get and craft from this mountain of eternal winter content okay next we go to inside this village again you will find two npc on this area actually this is normal npc and another one this is imperial crafting delivery npc so if you do cooking or alchemy you can hand over your cooking box to this npc on this alley village and also this imperial crafting delivery npc near storage manager on this 
city. So this is become one of your advantage to do this imperial crafting delivery from this town. Okay, inside this house, you will find another main quest NPC that we cannot do anything from this NPC. Okay, next we go to main hall from this village. Inside this main hall, actually all NPC on this area is related with main quest from Mountain of Eternal Winter main quest. And at the center of this hall, you can find this chair that you can sit in there and take some photo. Okay, let's go outside from this hall. And beside this hall, at this area, you will find some area with party. And you can interact with this NPC to play your card mini game. Actually, this NPC will relate it with Crossroad from Mountain of Eternal Winter main quest. Because if you choose first option from Crossroad from this Mountain of Eternal Winter main quest, you need to win playing your card mini game from this NPC. And beside this NPC, there are cooking vendor NPC that you can purchase any kind material for your cooking. And another NPC is selling some regular item like another NPC on another town and another NPC just normal NPC. And also you can sit near this bonfire to enjoy some music on this area with this side, Papu and Otter assemble. Okay, next we go to another area from this map. At this area, you will find one NPC. Actually, this is luxury item vendor that you can purchase any outfit that you can convert it to become costume. Okay, another NPC on this area. You will find this NPC. Actually, this is material vendor from this alley village. And another NPC. Actually, this is fruit vendor from this alley village that sell any usual fruit. And in front of this NPC, you will find basket vendor. I think this basket vendor come from Dovencrun City. And next NPC is crystal vendor that you can purchase mana stone and another usual crystal same as another NPC on another town. And inside this small house, you will find this NPC. Actually, this is general vendor NPC that you can purchase any potion from this NPC. And also, there is high NPC that you also can find her on another town. Okay, next area. After we pass this south gate from this village, you will find various NPC that located on this area on map. Okay, first NPC at this location. Actually, this is trade manager NPC from this village. And also, another NPC is Morco NPC, rival for Patrigio. And then, another NPC. You will familiar with this NPC. This is Jetina NPC that usually will give you service for guarantee pen accessory or pen boss gear. And another NPC is PC Cave NPC and Stable Keeper NPC. So in this alley village, there are two Stable Keeper NPC that you can find at West Gate and South Gate. And another NPC, this is Gold Stable NPC. And another NPC is Wakitoshi NPC that will sell you Marnie Stone. But until I release this video, when I check this Wakitoshi NPC, he didn't sell any Marnie Stone that related with new grinding zone on this mountain of eternal winter. I think Per Abyss still didn't update this content yet. So just wait until future update. I'm sure Per Abyss will update this Marnie Stone for new grinding zone on mountain of eternal winter. And if you want to know more detailed info about this mountain of eternal winter grinding zone, you can check my previous video about for new grinding zone on mountain of eternal winter video. Because in this video, I show you more detailed info about possible item loot that you can get, daily quest, spot location, and APDP requirement to grinding on its area from this grinding zone. And as always, I already put link for all related video in this video description. You can check it for more detail. Okay, next, another NPC. Actually, this is War Vendor NPC that you also can find it from another town. And the last is Jimmy Ducker NPC. Same as another city, you can purchase any book training either for combat and skill to do scarecrow training for AFK leveling. Okay, that's all any NPC at this location. Okay, let's go back to my first place to see overview for this town. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you this NPC. Actually, this is normal NPC that we cannot do anything and arrive at this area and this is Fugar and Patrigio area and then this is Westgate Road and this is Storage and Market Vendor NPC, Blacksmith Location and I forgot about this area. Actually, if you go to this area you will find this Papu NPC. This NPC is Imperial Fishing Delivery that you can deliver any precious fish that located on this area on map from this village. And another NPC is Fishing Vendor that you also also can purchase this special design for Sai outfit and as you can see this is how it's look for this new Sai outfit that you can craft from this design and then at this area you can do some fishing content from this village and there are one NPC but we cannot do anything with this NPC okay next another NPC on this area you can find worker manager to hire worker for the city but be notice until this update whatever energy that I use to search this worker I just only find human skilled worker and then another way if you pass this bridge, you will go to Westgate from this village. Okay, I think that's all tour for this alley village. And on Korea server, after 5 January 2022 maintenance update, they just update new content for 
residence on a Le village, either for housing one until five. Because previously, when I released this video about not connection guide, I also mentioned about this housing content on this a Le village. But when I record this video, all housing on this mountain of eternal winter, you cannot train it to become residence. And after this 5 January 2022 maintenance update on Korea server, they just add five residents on this a Le village. All these five housing that you can rent, right now you can rent it to become residents for all these five housing. Okay, for first house at this location, you can rent this house using 2CP. And this is how it's look for this building. And if you go inside, this is how it's look for inside this building. But sadly, you cannot interact with any window on this residence. And there are two doors for this residence that you can use. Okay, let's try to see another player house that already decorated. This is example for this house. I think player who decorated this house just aim for decoration point. Okay, second house at this location on map. You can rent this house if you rent previous house. And cost to rent this house, you need to invest to CP. Okay, just go to the second house that located on this area. As you can see, this is how it's look for this house. And if you go inside this house, this is how it's look for this residence. Actually, this is looks like lock cabin. And once again, I cannot interact with any window from this residence. Okay, let's try to see another player housing that already decorated. As you can see, this house is very comfy with great design. Even this house just one square, but player who furnished this housing very creative. Okay, let's go to another house. Okay, third house located on this area on map. And if you rent this house, you need 3 CP. Actually, this house didn't far from the second house. Okay, let's try to go inside. And as you can see, this is how it's look for this residence for the third house. Actually, this is looks like first house. And once again, I cannot interact with any window from this residence. And same as first house, there are two door that available to use. Okay, let's try to see another player housing. As you can see, actually, this house just decorated with random. I I think player who decorate this house just aim for residence point. Okay, next fourth house. You need another 4 CP to rent this house. Actually, this house is neighbor from the third house. As you can see, this is how it's look from exterior for this house. And if you go inside this house, this is how it's look for this residence. This is another small residence. And once again, I cannot interact with any window from this residence. Okay, let's see another player decoration house. And as you can see, player who have this residence just decorate this house with wallpaper and tile. Okay, let's go to another house. Okay, the last house on this alley village. To rent this house, you need 5 CP. Okay, just go to the 5 house. As you can see, this is how it's look for this 5 house from outside. And if I enter this house, this is how it's look for this house. Actually, this is nearly same like second house. Looks like lock cabin. And once again, I cannot interact with any window from this residence. Okay, let's try to see another player house. Actually, this player decoration, I think just aim for decoration point. Okay, let's try another player. And I see same thing for another player housing. I think the last five house, little player use this house for residence. Because most player using this five housing to rent to become furniture workshop. That you can craft any kind of furniture that speciality from this mountain of eternal winter region. Okay, that's all about Ale Village, capital city from mountain of eternal winter. And if you want to know something about this mountain of eternal winter content or about any content on this Ale Village, you can and comment on this comment section and special thanks to all my membership for direct support via patreon karya karsa and youtube membership and also my current member zekru dubiadut jimmy snack doki renegades x gospel homie ayrton kill still wemi cloudy munpai bdo jan andres jimon finding gf as gold member and also all my silver and bronze member thank you so much for all your direct support this will make chris poly channel running and growing more faster if you want to support me directly i will very grateful and as special thanks i will put your name on my video depend on your support level and be noticed for some level there are have some limit so make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space and i will put your name on every subsequent video that i release for the duration of your support and if you want to join my membership to support me directly you can go to any platform for patreon karya karsa and youtube membership 
I already put link for this membership on this video description or you can check on top right of this video I already put card for Patreon link okay guys that's all preview for Ale Village capital city of mountain of eternal winter and just wait until per abyss finish to translate all content of this mountain of eternal winter and release it on our live server in future if you like this video you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update thank you for watching See you next time!